Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to share how I've recently been using the weekly focus feature in Asana. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up or cleaning up your Asana account, getting more out of the tool or improving your team's adoption, then click the link in the description below to learn more about our Asana consulting options. Now, your weekly focus is visible on your My Tasks page. So if I navigate to My Tasks, I can see all of my work due today and this week. And at the top here, I can see my weekly focus. Now, according to Asana's website, the purpose of this feature is that it is used to capture your top priority for the week. So it's sort of higher level than a task. It's not really a, a task that you're working on. I would think of it more as like a major milestone or something significant, like a uh, something you're trying to make progress on over the coming week. Now, the weekly focus feature is actually a feature that at the moment we need to use on the Asana smartphone app or using uh, your tablet. So if I open my app, if I go to my tasks, I can set my weekly focus at the top of the screen. Once I set my focus, I can view this on the desktop as well, but at the moment, we can only set and edit your weekly focus on the mobile app. Now, even though, as the name suggests, this is your weekly focus, I've been using it in a slightly different way. I like to think of the weekly focus almost as like a sticky note that is kind of pinned to the top of my Asana, whether I'm on the desktop version of Asana or if I've got Asana open on my phone. It's kind of like a nice reminder of something important that I want to keep top of mind. And so as I've been using this feature over the last couple of months, it's only been out sort of uh, not very long, I actually have not been updating it every week. For me, I've actually found it more useful to use the focus as a way of saying, this is what I need to work on over the next kind of couple of months, maybe the next quarter. And I'm really using it to identify what is something that I need to improve on or do better. It's, it's again, it's higher level than a task, but it's not quite a goal. It's not really a specific outcome or measurable statistic or KPI that I'm trying to hit, but it is something that I'm, uh, something I'm working on that I'm trying to do better. So here's an example, identify repetitive tasks to outsource. It's something I want to improve on, uh, is identify what am I doing on a weekly basis that my team um, can, can help me with. I could do this over the course of a week if, if I want to make it the priority for the week, that's great. But for me, in this particular case, this actually might be my focus for the next month or so. So all this to say, it doesn't have to be just a weekly focus. If you want to make it a bit more long-term like me, I think that's okay. So what do you think of the weekly focus? How are you using it? Are you doing something similar to me? Are you using it in a different way? Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like help with Asana, getting more out of this tool, click the link in the description below to learn more about our consulting options. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.